Hi girls! So as you can tell I got my hair all cut off. Um, it was very uneven in the front. It was very short in the front and very long in the back due to previous haircuts and I decided to just even it out so I got it cut really short. So my hair is not very tank girl-esque because I just got it cut today and it's all styled the way they did it. But our look today is inspired by Tank Girl and she does not wear a whole ton of makeup. Her look is very similar to a classic pinup look but with a little bit of variation. Her eyeshadow does not come out past the corner of her eye so it's very rounded and very domed to make her eyes look very big and round. Now this is based off of Tank Girl the movie with Lori Petty in it so I absolutely love the movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it that were fans of the comic strip and I just personally adore it and I think that Lori Petty did an amazing job nobody could beat her as being Tank Girl so it's my opinion. Anyway, back to the look. Uh, it's a very neutral looking eye. It's very similar to a pinup. The eyeliner, instead of being winged, it's very domed in the center. The whole look is very domed to make your eye look very round. So, and then the eyebrows are pretty extreme. I lightened them up. Her eyebrows are pitch black, basically lines. It's the way it always is. I personally thought that was a little too extreme for an actually wearable look. So I toned it down. I did a very dark brown and then I just added a touch of black to the end to kind of make them even more defined. And I do discuss if you have thicker eyebrows how to get a similar effect without plucking your eyebrows completely thin. Mine are just naturally thin like this. As always, I will have a list of all the products on my blog, and that link will be down below in the info section. So let's get started. Okay, to start off, I'm not going to prime my eye for this. You need the shadows to blend very, very well, and you're not using very intense pigments. Um, so there's really no need for a primer for this look. So I'm going to start off with an almost matte or a soft satin and what that is it's an eyeshadow that is not quite matte but isn't shimmery has no glitter anything like that it doesn't really reflect the light it's just very light but it's not quite completely matte so I'm going to be using my elf 100 palette and I'm going to be using this almost skin tone it's just a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to mix in just a tiny tiny touch of the shimmer above it just the tiniest of touch and I'm going to use a flat kind of shader brush and I'm just going to take that and put it all over my lid You just want to make it so that your lids are about two to three shades lighter than your actual skin tone. If you need to, just take a tiny bit of white and run it right in the middle. You can go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to take a medium gray that is almost matte again. You don't want it to be completely matte, but you don't want it to have any kind of shimmer in it either. And I'm just going to load up a very, very fluffy brush. And you're going to put this just above your crease. Do not do the inner corner and don't extend at all past the outer corner. So if you were to go straight up from the corner of your eye, not at an angle, straight up where that ends. Now you're going to take your, a little kind of, any kind of small brush and that using that same gray and just put that under the eyes. You don't have to be too precise with this, it doesn't have to be a perfect line, anything like that. Just kind of smudge it under your eye. Once again, do not extend past your outer corner at all. I'm going to take that same small brush and just right in the crease intensify that line a little bit. I'm 
Now you're going to take a warm brown. I'm going to be using eh, this color right here. And with your fluffy brush, just pat it in there. You don't really want a lot of color. And just go over where you intensified that line. Really blend this out. You want it to almost look like a shadow on your eye. Don't really want a lot of definition there. Now you're just going to go back in with that soft color in the same brush. Don't mix it with any of the shimmer and just go right along that top. I'm really buffing it out. So this is what you should have. It's nothing too extreme. It's just a little bit of definition and a tad bit of shadow in there. Now I'm going to go in with that warm brown again on our small little brush and try to get this very close to the lash line on the outer portion of your eye. And then just take your flat brush that you put your lid color on and blend out this edge. You don't want there to be a distinct spot where it ends. And same with the inner corner. Okay, now for brows. Tank Girl has pencil thin black eyebrows. I don't want to go quite that extreme. My eyebrows are naturally very, very thin. So I'm not going to have to make them any thinner than they are. This is just how they naturally are. If you do tend to have thicker eyebrows and you don't necessarily want to pluck them down to this thin, what I would suggest is to take a small little concealer brush like this. Put on concealer under your brow and over your brow, just kind of to lighten it up. And then fill in all of your brows with a very light color, about two to three shades lighter than you normally would. And then do the darker part just on the top. So the part I'm going to show you, you would do just on the top of your brows. So they won't look quite as extreme, but that way you won't have to pluck all your eyebrows out either. So I'm just going to kind of pull my bangs back. And I'm going to take this very warm brown. This brown has a reddish tone underneath it, which will go with my hair nicely. And I'm going to just, with a small angled brush, just fill in my brows, trying to get them as high as possible without looking completely unnatural. So you want the shape to be very high and kind of like a flat round. You don't want any defined arch. And then the inner corner, you really want to kind of round that up. Now, without wiping my brush off or anything, I'm going to take a matte black and just dip my brush in it. I'm not going to put any kind of pressure on it, so let me see if I can get this in. I'm just going to dip. That's it. And then feather this very, very lightly through the tail end. Now I'm just going to take a little eyebrow brush thingy. I'm going to use this stiff part. Very technical description there. And I'm just going to kind of blend that black into it so it doesn't look like harsh black. Now for eyeliner. So her eyeliner is very rounded. 
I mean, not that extreme. So you're going to want to do a thin starter line and then build up just the middle. So you want the end to kind of tuck under your lashes so there's not a distinct end. And same thing on the inside. Kind of tuck it into your lashes. And then you're going to want to round up as you get towards the center. Okay, now for lashes. Now you want to use a mascara that is not going to thicken your lashes too much or lengthen them really at all. So you kind of want more of a defining mascara than a length or than a lengthening or a volumizing mascara. She has very short little defined lashes. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm not going to curl them too much though. I'm just going to curl them at the base so they go up. I don't want them to be nice and rounded. And I'm just going to apply one quick coat of mascara, not too much at all. I'm going to go back in with my wand and just hit the center of my lashes one or two more times. So there's our eyes finished, and now we're going to move on to lips and cheeks. Okay, for cheeks, I'm going to use a very light pink peach color. You want just the tiniest amount of flush to your face, and you want it all concentrated right along here. You don't want to pull it up like I normally do, all right here. And you want it just very, very light so it looks like you're very slightly flushed. I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to take my kabuki with a tiny bit of powder and just buff that in really well. You don't want it to look like you're wearing blush at all. You just want it to look like you're flushed. Okay, now I'm going to outline my lips and I'm just going to use this generic lip liner. It doesn't have a name or a color or anything on it. And I'm just going to use this for a guide. Okay, now you're going to take a matte, deep red lipstick. You do not want a bright, classic, like, pin -up red, so a deep blue-based red. And I prefer a flat top lip brush, but if you prefer a different kind, go ahead and use that. And you're just going to get a little bit of that on your brush and feather it onto your lips. You don't want to do big strokes. You just want to kind of feather it on. You want to make sure to go right over that liner. That liner is just your guide so red lipstick is not everywhere. You see with the brush you get a nice sheer application so it's not too overpowering. And that is our finished tank girl look. Okay, so here is our finished look. And it is a very understated look while still being very defined. The focus is mainly on the lips. And I really love this really red matte from Revlon. It is the perfect color. It matches her color almost identically. It's that very deep, rich red that is very matte. And of course, you know, using the lip brush gives you a very sheer application, which makes it more matched to hers. I did decide to add a touch of white eyeliner on my bottom lash line, on um, my waterline just to kind of finish off the look. Of course, that is completely optional. You don't have to do it at all. I just think it pulled the look together a little bit better. So 
thank you for the request. This was a request off of my Twitter based off of me watching Tank Girl the other day. And if you have any requests or any looks you would like to see or even have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Or you can always ask me on my Facebook page or my Twitter. I tend to get you guys really quickly on those. And those links are down below in the info section. So have a great night and I'll see you girls later. Bye.